Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I have not filmed in like two weeks. The last video I posted, I actually had it sitting on my computer because life has just been super crazy. So it feels good to just come back, sit down and film. So for today, we're going to be doing a Kindle cover decoration situation. And I'll be also reviewing the Kindle because I had it for a couple of months now and I thought it'd be good to just share my thoughts, the pros and cons and everything that I have noticed since having the Kindle but I thought it'd be fun to just start with like decorating because I'm in the mood. All right, so I have this case that I got from Amazon. It's been sitting on my desk for the past two weeks. I haven't touched it, I haven't put it on my Kindle because I was saving it for this video, even though it's super tempting. So let's go ahead and I guess unbox it. It's just a regular clear case. <laughs> so I feel like this is like a really basic common case that I've seen a lot of people have for their Kindle. So the plan is because I have a lot of stickers here that I just had around, like I never used them. And I thought it'd be fun to just go through them and then put them on the back here. I'm not gonna stick them so I can like reuse the stickers and then plop it on the back of my Kindle. So we're gonna open all my stickers, see what kind of vibe I wanna go for. I thought about maybe getting like reading type stickers, but I don't know, I feel like that might be a little cheesy because clearly I'm reading if you see it. I don't need to have a sticker that says like cute girls read. Um, but this is what the case looks like on pretty boring just like this so i'm really excited to put some stickers on it oh my god it's gonna look so cute so let's go ahead and lay out all the stickers that i have okay so i have three different packs that i'm looking at the first one is like this these ones are kind of like aesthetic stickers same thing with this one but this one gives me more of a boho type feel to it and then i have these stickers that are just a bunch of memes i don't know how many of the meme ones i'm really gonna use i kind of am leaning more towards the aesthetic ones but if there's a meme that's funny and also i guess matches the vibe then we're gonna go ahead and go with that too so i'm just gonna go ahead and lay them all out and see which ones i'm leaning more toward I've laid out and kind of took out the stickers that I'm not a huge fan of and don't care to have and put them to the side. And I decided to not open the meme one until I figure out what I want. I really like these little leaf things. I think those look kind of cute. I might do something like that. I think she's cute too. I don't know if I want like words. The only ones I have are you're so gold. Oops, I don't know if it's focused. The ones that says you're so golden and choose happy. I don't know if that's, <laughs> I don't know if that's my vibe. There's more to love is also kind of cheesy, but I like the paper on this, so maybe. And also these two, they have words. This one says, I think you are the sweetest thing. I miss you. Not really the vibe. This one says, she's an old soul with young eyes, vintage heart, beautiful mind. Also not my vibe. No, I just don't really like overly cheesy words. You know what I mean? I like this butterfly. This one's kind of cute because there's words, but not really words that make me cringe a little bit. This looks a little bit dusty. So maybe it'll be like a background thing. And same thing with this. Maybe I can put it somewhere, but I really like her. So, ooh, yeah, she's kind of cute too. I don't know how spaced out I should like this. I look cute. This isn't too bad. These words I don't really like very much. Because I like the texture, you know, but not the words. So maybe I could just push it back a little bit. <laughs> I think this is kind of cute. Does this throw this off? I think it does. Like the slots are kind of cute, but it doesn't really go with the color scheme. Maybe I should have bought more stickers. Starting to regret. That, that kind of goes. Not random, but it goes. She fits the colors. Maybe I should replace this one this just because this might be a little too similar to that flower and we could put it here do that this is kind of cute too maybe this could be like a nice filler if i need more space somewhere let's see let's see oh i didn't even open the memes yet we'll keep these on here i'll put this to the side and then we can take a look at the memes and see if any of them kind of go with the vibe okay so i looked through all of them a lot of them i don't think are funny but even the ones that i do think are kind of funny they just don't match the vibe and like with all the stickers i already picked out it would be really weird if i put it in i do like this one though this is like my favorite out of all of them i just think he's so cute but like it just would be weird in the mix but i went ahead and also added to choose from our options this little fruit thingy and then this plant so we're just gonna go ahead and work with what we have here and see what we can come up with. So we're done. I decided on my stickers and the arrangement and I feel like I kind of like how it turned out. I can feel that it's gonna change at some point. I think it'd be so fun to like change based on the seasons. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, okay. Anyways, 
here's the stickers that i chose i decided to keep the fruit but take out that extra one i talked about earlier but i think she's so cute she has like a nice little theme i know i don't really like the the words there's more to love on it but i really like the texture that this brings and the texture of these papers like i think it looks cute so this is what i decided on and surprisingly it was pretty easy to stick them i was scared it was gonna move when i like pushed it on but once you put the corners down girl she's secure so yeah this like is making me excited to read and i think we're gonna do like seasonal stickers i think that that'll be really cute so during the fall and hopefully i remember i'll like put like fall stickers during the winter i'll put winter like it'll just be a vibe so i guess this is our summer one even though i did didn't plan on it being a summer theme but you get it so this is her now that we're done let's go ahead and do my kindle review let's talk about all the pros and cons that i've noticed since having my kindle and just get into it and see if maybe getting a kindle would be the right move for you i got my kindle in april so and right now it's july so it's been may june so it's been about three months so i feel like it's enough time to know the things that i like i definitely don't know all the ins and outs of a kindle but these are just the things that i've noticed since having it so let's go ahead and start with the cons the first con is something that i feel like everyone says in these types of videos but it's true so i'm gonna put it in it's not a physical book and that's kind of the point like it's not a huge con honestly all the cons that i have on my list are not that deep like i can easily overlook it so it's fine yeah it's not a physical book so you don't get like the page turning and like the satisfaction when you see your progress the more you read so that's something that definitely sucks but it's like the entire point like all the pros that come with this is a pro because it's not a physical book i used to be the type of girl who i thought Thought like oh i can never get an e-reader like i'm just like a physical book kind of girl i like to feel the pages i don't want to strain my eyes and all that stuff and like yes that's kind of true still like i do like a real book more but i used to think you were either a only read physical books type of girl or an e-reader type of girl i didn't think about the in-between and you can have the best of both worlds so yes it's not a physical book but if i feel like reading a physical book i can still read a physical book i'm not married to one or the other so it's not physical book but like that's the entire point you get over it it's not that deep so the next one is something that i didn't realize was a thing until i don't know if it was like when i actually got the e-reader or maybe like a little bit before but the kindles are not in color they're in black and white and i just didn't know that so that's like a con for me it's not a huge con because when you're reading an actual book there's no color in the pages anyways but like i like covers right like i like seeing that how pretty a cover looks and judging a book based on this cover and all that stuff so you don't get the same feel when you read on a kindle you're just swiping through a bunch of selections that are in black and white so that sucks but once you're reading it it doesn't matter and even when you're looking through it, it really doesn't matter all the books i've read so far i got from recommendations or i've seen the cover in color whether it's real life or online so i know what it looks like can you imagine a kindle in color that'd be so nice to just see a selection of all these books in color and seeing like just how nice the cover is like if i was an illustrator and if i had to see my book cover in black and white it would like it would kill my vibe but it's not the end of the world you can see what it looks like by just just googling it it's not that deep the next one is that the response time on e-readers are delayed and i think kindles are faster than a lot of other like competitors in terms of their response time like when you scroll and swipe and all that stuff but i guess i just didn't realize it until i already got it don't be expecting it to be as fast as your iphone where you just click it and instantly something happens it takes a little bit more time it's not a tablet it's not a smartphone it's an e-reader so it has its own technology that i can't really explain but when when you're flipping the pages it's fine it's just mostly when i'm like scrolling or to find a word that's something that's like a little bit slower but it's not the end of the world and then the last one is there are ads on the home screen on my kindle that's why i always have it faced the back there are ads on this like i don't know anything about this book i'm not currently reading this book but i know there's a way to get it off i think you have to pay 20 dollars or like get an upgraded version of it or something and it will go away and it'll just show the book that you're reading or you can like customize it i'm not really sure i don't i don't really care that much but that's only a con that i have because i remember thinking like if i'm out and about sometimes they'd be showing kind of embarrassing covers that i'm like i'm not reading that and i hope people don't think i'm reading that but i'm always reading at home so it doesn't matter if it really bothers you and you don't want to pay to get them removed you can get one of those cases that like cover it so it doesn't really matter at all also side note which is not a pro or a con the screens never turn off like you would think that oh there's ads just turn it off girl it is off it just shows ads but i'm not gonna lie sometimes it can be a pro 
depending on how you look at it because i've seen some interesting recommendations that i was like oh i've heard a lot about that but i never heard it before and uh, now i'm kind of interested so it's mostly i guess if it has like an embarrassing cover that i'm like that ain't me those are all the cons that i can really think of all of them are very manageable and not that deep at all the pros to me heavily outweigh the cons so let's go ahead and get into the pros so the first pro and the whole reason that i bought this thing is to save money i have been buying books like crazy and it's just a lot cheaper to get a kindle so i have the kindle paperwhite i don't know what year but it's the latest version and i paid 99 dollars for this so i got it on a really good discount they had like a spring sale and it was very impulsive when i bought it like i was kind of thinking about it but when i saw it, it was like 50 dollars off i just decided to jump and buy it normally it's like 150 or so and i still think that's like a pretty good price but i just got it when it was even cheaper i don't think it's super uncommon to have kindle sales but keep an eye out on those deals because they're pretty good like 50 dollars off like that was a good steal that i found if you want to see my unboxing i filmed that so you can go ahead and click the link in the description if you're interested and i also pay for kindle unlimited when i bought it it was only ten dollars a month but they recently increased it to twelve dollars a month which is kind of annoying but it's still cheaper than if i were to buy physical books if i go to barnes and noble for one book it's gonna be more expensive than my kindle unlimited membership so that's kind of how i see it i'm reading a huge selection of books a lot of them are like popular books that you've heard of it's not like a bunch of random books that you're like i don't know this book i don't know this author and i don't care to read it it's actually really good books and authors on kindle unlimited and even if the book's not on kindle unlimited they have it for significantly cheaper for me i don't use my kindle to buy actual books it's just the kindle unlimited membership because if i want to buy it i'm just going to get the physical book because then i want something tangible so to me if you read one book a month i feel like it's worth it also i had a lot of problems where i would like spend a lot of money on books but i have like an itch to read this is perfect for that they should sponsor me oh my god i'm really like selling it right now the next one is defining words i am the type of reader where if i find a word that i don't know i will just automatically go to my phone search up what the word means even if i can understand it and use context to figure it out i still have the urge to find and google what it means so that is something that i love about the kindle i can just highlight it click define and it will tell me what it means if there's a sentence or a paragraph that you really like you can highlight it and it will save it for you i don't use that feature i never highlight any of my books physical or on my kindle but if that's something you like to do then that's also a pro and another pro <laughs> these are like bonus pros you can connect it to your goodreads which is great i don't have a goodreads i'm definitely looking into it i just haven't gotten around to it yet so i can't speak on that but that's something that i've heard a lot of people say that they like you can also translate another bonus pro i have not used it but as someone who's learning languages i think it'd be really cool to read a book a different language and then use that translate feature to see what it actually means whenever i get into that i can talk more about it but at this point i've never used it for that so i am not really sure the next one is that i can read at night so they have a lot of settings to adjust the brightness you can put it on dark mode you can put like a warm light setting on it you can do a lot of things to find the lighting that suits your eyes the best and for me i read all the time at night especially if i'm so close to finishing a book and i've done this ever since i was a kid i would stay up turn on some really poor lighting and read and it's not really good for me it messes up my sleep and i just i don't like it i really need to get a reading light for when i read physical books but at this moment i don't have that but i really like that i can just get really comfortable it's harder to get more comfortable with a physical book because you got pages flopping or you don't want to bend the page and hold it a certain way so it's super comfortable to read and convenient to read at night especially and also when i'm out in the sun there's not like a glare or anything so like no matter where i am i can find lighting that i want and adjust it next it's super compact and portable i love that because if i'm going somewhere maybe traveling and i have a few books i want to read i don't have to pack all of my books i don't have to worry about them getting bent i don't have to worry about any of that i can just slip this in my bag and i'm good to go and i have as many books as i want to read as i want this is my everyday bag that i use every day and this literally fits whenever i want to go somewhere with it it fits fine and especially now that i have a case i feel more comfortable putting it in my bag because before i was like i really don't want like chapstick getting on it but if it's in my bag and i really enjoy it i think it's super nice and easy to carry around i'm sure this can even fit in a man size pocket like it's just that compact and portable another one is that the battery life on this thing just does not die i've had this for three months 
and I think I've only charged it like three times. It goes on forever, guys. And I remember like, because like this just doesn't turn off the screen, I thought it was gonna like make it die faster, but it doesn't do anything to it. So if I don't pack my charger, it's not that deep if I'm going somewhere, but it can last forever. Battery life on this thing is amazing. I also have this pop socket that I'm contemplating if I want to put on here. I completely forgot to show you during the decorating portion, but this is what it looks like. And I feel like it goes really well with this whole situation. But I don't know. Should I put a pop socket? I know like the girlies like have them and it's like super cute and makes reading more comfortable. I don't know if this really will do much for me if I'm being honest. She look cute though, right? Like, oh my god, sorry about the glare. She's cute though. I'm gonna hold off on it for now and see if I need a pop socket with this or not. But at least I know that if I want a pop socket, there's always an option because I don't feel like I really had an issue reading, especially now that this has like ridges on it. So I should be good to go. But those are all the pros and cons that I can think of at this moment. Let me know your thoughts on my little Kindle decorating setup. If you like it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.